Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture Scarps Trekking Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through times, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. As we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence, I'm ecstatic to be your guide. And you took another migration further south to Ganja, the Diao, the Derbai, Derbai. Other hand charted different courses. The Gons, inspired by the success story of the Ganja state, established their own Bono state kingdom in. This marked the beginning of a wave of Akan settlement in the Gold Coast with various groups founding states, such as the Akwamu State, Nzima State, and Osu, Alata. The Jia group, alongside remnants of Gons and Tebas, embarked on a southwestern journey, eventually settling in the Ivory Coast Territory. The territory, Tori, Sonink, known as the Mans to move south. Fierce fighters. The Mans conquered the Bona and Akwamu states during the century, leading war refugees to establish new settlement areas in the Gold Coast. Refugees from the Akwamu state went on to establish their own states, including Akwamu, Doma, and Zima under the leadership of Anar Asaman. Similarly, those from the Bona State in the Adansi District, Akrokir, and joined the Bono Mo, Kano Mo, Bono State, which played a crucial role in nurturing early Akan states, eventually succumbed to the might of the Asante, Ashanti State in. Amidst these migrations and state formations, Myths and legends emerged, such as Iza, Niti immortalizing the resilience and unity of the Aiken speaking bull. The narrative of the Aiken speaker's origin, as suggested by Dr. Joseph Boki Dankwa, adds a layer of into the verse and the Middle East to the Leo. And Shane Leo. Having established themselves in the Niger Bend, began to flourish as they absorbed and dominated the indigenous groups in the region. Engaging in activities such as pottery, livestock, and trade, the Aiken ancestors developed a unique matrilineal system that shaped the cultural fabric of their communities. As the Ghana Empire waned in power, the Aiken refugees strategically positioned themselves, solidifying their influence in the region. The Adravitraldravitraldravit This marked to forge their path. The decline of the once Mighty Ghana Empire created a vacuum that the Akan refugees opportunistically filled, consolidating their dominance over the indigenous groups and establishing a socio-economic foothold through activities like pottery, livestock rearing, and trade. Simultaneously, the Tebas, Having made a brief sojourn on the Niger Bend, decided to journey to forge their path, giving birth to Bono State in the 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 and and series of Akan settlements, including the Akwamu State. Zima State and Osu, Alada, 
each contributing to the intricate mosaic of Akin history. The Jag group, in collaboration with remnants of Gons and Tebis, chose a southwestern trajectory and found a new home in the Ivory Coast. Here they founded the kingdoms of Bana and Kumbo, Akwamu. The collapse of the Ghana kingdom in triggered the migration of Displanik, the Bande states in this century. The result in West, establishing states such as Akwamu, Doma, and Zima. The refugees from the Akwamu state, resilient and determined, went on to carve out their territories with Akwamu, Doma, and Zima emerging as distinct entities. Similarly, those from the Bona State in the Ivory Coast settled in the Adansi District, Akrokir, and integrated into the Bono Kingdom, Bono Manso, ultimately founding states like Yoban by the Asante and Kokasi and by the Event Stantiki and Trajectory of the Akin, Speaking People. In the midst of these migrations and state formations, myths and legends like Isa, Nisi arose immortalizing the indomitable spirit and unity of the Akin speaking people. Dr. Joseph Boki Donkwa's intriguing proposition regarding the Middle Eastern origin and the gradual southwestern journey is an integral part of the Aiken heritage. Is an integral part of the Aiken heritage. Is an Aikis. The diverse and dynamic cultural landscape they celebrate today. Meanwhile, the Tebas, who had briefly settled on the Niger Bend, undertook another migration further south to Gabon, Daja, the Gons, Jai Group and Garamantes, on the other hand, charted different courses. The Gons, inspired by the success story of the Ganja state, established their own Bo state kingdom in. This marked the beginning of a wave of settlement in the Gold Coast, with various Guru state as a Wadiste, Tebas embarked on a southwestern journey, eventually settling in the Ivory Coast Territory. There, they established the kingdoms of Bana and Kumbu, Akwamu. The collapse of the Ghana Kingdom Inn prompted a group of displaced Sun Inc., known as the Mandas, to move south. Fierce fighters, the Mans conquered the Buona and Akwamu states during the century leading war refugees to establish new settlement areas in the Gold Coast. Refugee de Akwamuya, Similarly, those from the Buona state in the Ivory Coast settled in the Adansi district, Akrokir. And joined the Bono Kingdom, Bono Manso, leading to the establishment of states such as Joban, Bekwe Kumasi, and Kokofu. The Bono state, which played a crucial role in nurturing early Akan states, eventually succumbed to the might of the Asante state in, amidst these migrations and unity of the Akan speak people. The narrative and and himself, Joseph Boki Donkwa, adds a layer of intrigue to their historical journey. A journey that spans from the Middle East to the Kingdom of Jado shaping the diverse and rich cultural landscape of the Akan people. 
The Jido Plateau, situated in the northeastern part of Niger, holds the ancient ruins of a civilization.